Do you feel unmotivated or lost when your command center is out of order? Same girl, same. <laughs> Before having kids, managing myself was pretty simple. But after kids, managing a family became more of a task. I had to be strategic with my planning and organization became even more important. For those asking, Alyssa, what the hell is the command center and why do I need one? The short answer is your command center is your personal assistant. Instead of having those little kids or that big kid, aka your husband, asking you what's going on today, what's going on this weekend, you can politely refer them to the command center. If your kids are in school, you know you need those important phone numbers. Keep them in your command center. And any important deadlines you have to meet, your command center is your best Friend. When your command center is cluttered and chaotic, it's normal that you could feel like your life is cluttered and chaotic too. But mama, don't beat yourself up. I would love to say that your command center is going to stay clean and organized, but the truth of the matter is, life be life in, <laughs> and it just isn't. And that's okay. In my book, Clutterless, I talk about having a organizing schedule just as you do a cleaning schedule and that's all you have to do to get your command center back in order and get your life back on track so that's exactly what I did I took my own advice and I got my life back on track by setting my timer for 15 minutes and getting it done my command center became a hot mess express at the top of the year. And January just flew by with a blink of an eye. Like, I don't even know what happened to it, but the bitch was gone. She said, look for me. And I was looking. And it was February. And my command center was crazy. And I don't know if anybody can relate, but when I come into my command center, which is in my kitchen area, and I'm looking at clutter it does something to my brain and it makes me feel bad about myself and it makes me feel angry with myself and physical paralysis kicks in and when that happens it sometimes can take me a while to get out of my own way to get to the goals that I desire which is a clean and organized space when I'm in a clean and organized space I'm my best self I get shit done. My command center is also my mail center. And I had letting that got out of control as well. Now, typically, I like to stay on top of that because when I go a day or two without going through my mail, I just say to hell with it. And it gets crazy. I can literally go weeks without checking my mail. I will throw out the junk, but I will not go through my mail until I get out of my own way. And I know that can't be good for anybody. The bill collectors, especially. I'm just playing. At least I have that in order. Having a system for your incoming mail is equally as important as having a command center because things will get lost in the sauce if you are not on top of your mail. I am a visual person, so I have to see my mail in order for me to go through it. Because if it's in a bin or put away somewhere, I will not go through it. So in my book, Clutterless, I mention a resource to help you determine if you are a visual organizer or hidden organizer. And that is the key to helping you get to your home goals and in this instance your command center and mail center goals 
For visual organizers like myself, I like to use a hanging magazine rack to help me to visually see the mail that I need to go through in order for me to be successful. For hidden organizers, you may want to just get a bin and throw all that damn mail in there and say, to hell with it, I'm going to get to it when I get to it, when you pick a certain day to do that. God didn't make us all the same. So you can't think that my organizing technique is going to be the same as your organizing technique. So that's why it's important for you to determine what type of organizer are you? Are you a visual organizer or are you a hidden organizer for you to be the most successful in your home? Because at the end of the day, I'm a woman's woman and I want us all to win because I know we're all out here doing the very best that we can. And I know that the clutter is stopping us from being our very best self. As I mentioned before, mail isn't something that you have to go through daily strategy is key here when that mail first enters your home you're going to immediately go through the junk mail and throw that shit out and then you're going to put everything else in your hanging magazine rack or your bin to sort through on a particular day of your choosing now don't be like me and wait weeks to go through it this should be something that is done on a week to week basis once your command center is back in order and you back on your shit, clap for yourself because you're unstoppable. All right, everyone, that is all I have for you today. Thank you so much for being with me on this journey of becoming clutterless. We had to <laughs> cut the production yesterday. My son, he needed his mommy and I could not finish the video. So today... I got it done so today I got it done and that's all that matters sometimes we as mothers have every intention on getting things done on our time and these kids have a mind of our of their own and we just got to roll with the punches and learn how to pivot uh, when they say pivot and I think it's just because he's teething he just was not in the mood for production yesterday. So, that matter, still got done, and you have a video. Um, if you are new to my channel, hi, hello, welcome. Thank you so much for being here. I don't take it lightly that you took time out of your busy day to watch my video. I thank you from the bottom of my heart, and I just thank you for continuing on this journey with me and I will see you on the next video.